Welcome, and now I'm going to introduce you to some of these special components, um, text components. Uh, we already learned, and the most frequently used text component is JTEX field. However, we do have several of the other kinds of um, text um, components, special text components. So I want to introduce you um, 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 several ones of them. So um, um, other uh, text components. Com, um, com other text components um, uh, um, uh, uh, different from uh, JTEX file. We're gonna delete this one. Okay, then right click on this one, new J frame form, and we're going to copy this project name, paste into the main J frame form here, and we're going to study several of the other text components be beside the very frequently used JTEX field. Um, we will have JTEX array. Let's say JTEX array is okay. JTEX array is um, how to say um, uh, um, um, different from um, JTEX field in the point that. Uh, you can insert multiple lines of text, multiple lines, you can create new lines okay, of text inside JTEX array. And by default, if you drag and drop uh, JTEX array, it's going to be graphed inside a JSCRON pane. You see this scroll. Okay. Um, if you click on navigator, you'll see actually JTEX array is graphed inside a JSCRON pane. I'm going to right click on this one and change um, 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 TXT um, uh, address, let's say. Because normally the address you're going to um, put multiple uh, lines of code. This one, okay. Uh, this one it takes this one address. It is different from its um, 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 very commonly used um, text field. You know, say I'm gonna drag and drop it. It takes, okay. And I'm gonna change this one. Let's say name of some people. I'm gonna copy this one. Name. I want to show you the difference between the two. Right click on this one name, okay. And if we, yep. if we run this form, if we run this form, and we're going to try the, the difference. If I type in something here, and if I press enter now to create a new line, it's not possible because this one is allow you, is allowing you to insert only a line at a time. But for draft, you're gonna have line one, then line two then line 3, so on and so forth, you can have multiple lines and also it is grabbed into a JSCRON pane I already um, introduced to you and everything is just the same, you know, this um, um, address and the um, JTEX field are just exactly the same as one another okay, exactly the same as one another okay, but this one is multiple lines, okay then other text components which is important which is the uh, j um, editor pen okay j editor pen okay um, this j editor pen um, and j text pen okay j editor pen and j text pen is special this j editor pen you know uh, and JTEX pane similarly, it's it's um, another one is JTEX pane. This one is having ability of displaying the rich text format. It has the ability of displaying the uh, rich text format, which means it can display the text, okay, text with styles, okay, with styles like both italic, okay, so on so forth, italic, okay, italic so on so forth because the um, um no, the names and also the uh, text field here and, and and the text or we can display only a simple types of text one types of text okay but this one can display um, um style text or rich text format there especially especially um, this one can even display um, this one can even display a website okay this one can even display a website let's say uh, we're going to demonstrate that to you so we're going to put a JTEX field here, okay, for the address, and we're going to place another button here for the button go. Right click on this one, say go, okay. This one is in here. Now, now, going to rearrange this one. Now, this one is rearrange here. Come on, rearrange it here. <laughs> Come on. This one is okay. This one is here. This one I want it to go here. Okay, I'm not drag this one lateral a little bit. Okay, this one is gonna get here. Okay, this one gonna get here. Come on. This 
we're gonna get it here I'm gonna place this one here and we're gonna place this one here and I'm gonna place this one here okay yep. takes us some time to do the free design then I'm going to right click on this one edit text and I'm going to right click on this one change variable name txt URL okay so this one has the ability event which is um, to um, display the um, um, uh, simple XML content we're going to do right click on this one and change variable names let's say editor pane editor pane editor pane uh, 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 um, web browser web browser okay so it can browse the web and in order to browse that web I'm going to click on this one and click on properties and say editable editable it would equal to phones okay editable equal to phones we are not going to edit this one it's only used to display a website and I'm going to be able to set the content theme content type it is not text plain but now I'm going to use text um, HTML Okay, to display the content as a website then if we click on the go button so I'm gonna need to click on the design right click on this one change for names btn go okay if we click on this go button okay click on this go button okay we're going to take string URL equal to txt URL dot get text okay and I'm going to use the editor paint browser dot set um, 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 set page okay set page as the URL okay then we'll see set page as the URL this one we're going to let's say um, we're going to um, uh, surround the uh, statement with try catch okay because we may type this URL wrong so we're going to run this one okay run this one okay I'm going to type in here let's say HTTP uh, VT games dot VN slash anyone can code slash Java okay Java and we click on go okay we click on go okay hopefully the um, link is right let me see if the link is right okay let's uh, see VT games dot VN anyone can code Java okay that is a right link and this one is a website uh, so let's get back to our uh, base it here okay come on I copy the things here copy the things and paste it here no, I cannot paste it HTTP VT games dot VN anyone can code let's say anyone can code Java click on go hmm. let's, let's see probing let's just do the simple one okay google.com okay okay see a um, this one okay this one is google.com however this one could only display the simple maybe uh, this one i use the complicated um, javascript so it couldn't load but then if we put google.com you'll see from here okay however still it couldn't run several the complicated javascript or css style that's why you'll see some strange thing over here okay but then anyway anyway it could display it has the ability to um, display the um, 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 simple website Okay, simple HTML web page. Okay, simple. Similar, similar to um, this component. Similar to this component, you're going to um, have other components like uh, JTextPain. Okay, TextPain. Okay, TextPain is very similar. Okay. Another special component that I, I would like to um, demonstrate to you, which is um, the um, password fail, the password fail, and also um the formatted text field okay the password field and for um, the formatted text field so we're going to start with the simple one which is the password field okay the password field okay so let's say this one of course is to store password okay to store password password okay 
And what's the difference between JPassword field and JText field is that, you know, it's the same as JText field. And the only difference is when you type in the text, it's going to display as a dot instead of, you know, display the plain text over there. Okay, and then right now we're going to right click on this one. I'm going to name this one password field or simply name it txt is fine, but normally we will name it password field pass. Okay, so if we click on a button in order to display, what is that button? I think the button is here. Okay, if we click on a, a button in order to um, display the password, okay, display. Okay, display the form. Okay, display the form. I'm gonna place it somewhere just to demonstrate. Okay, so if we click on display, and I'm gonna name this button right click, change verb name btn display. Okay, if we click on this button, um, we're going to handle this is another special thing which is different from the text field. In order to get the password, you know, in order to get the password, you need txt, you know, password field pass dot you know uh, if you do get text this one is now deprecated method okay and it's gonna be replaced by get password but if we do the uh, pass dot get password okay it's going to return you an array of characters not a string okay array of characters so this one is going to return your array of character pass okay and um, if you need to convert this one into a string you know string password equal to new string from okay you're gonna create a new string from the array of characters wait, 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 wait. Ah, man, just say string pass from array of characters over there then we're going to let's say j option paint okay j option paint dot dot show message dialog and we're going to show the password show the password that is difference between that one is the main difference between j password field and, and, and the uh, j text field okay so if you do this one a uh, pass and if you click on display it's going to show the pass over there so the difference is, is display is hidden and also you have to get the password and it's going to return you array of characters you have to convert it into string okay now I think I'm going to um, show you the last and very important components for the um, um, text components. Um, that one is formatted text field, which is the one. Okay, formatted text field. Formatted text. Formatted text field is very useful in the um, case that you have something special, some some specific kinds of uh, data with some formats or some patterns. So this time I'm going to um, use to demonstrate it on this one the formatted text field for let's say you can use to display currency okay or salary let's say right click this one salary for currency okay now salary and if we click on button display now i want to click on this one first in order to format this one you're going to use something like um, you can use number format okay. you can use number format number format to format the text field so that user can only input user otherwise it's gonna be invalid data you're gonna have currency format from from the number format itself okay then you can have date time format so on and so forth okay date time format let's just demonstrate one of them which is currency format so um, this one is let's say this one is let's say um mm, mm, Let's in order to uh, set the number format, you can click on source file. On top of this source file, you're going to uh, collapse this one. On top of this source file, I'm going to put this one is number format. Okay, format. Okay, uh, number format equal to uh, number format. Okay, number format that get the currency instance. Okay. So we have the number format and we're going to use this formatter and pass it to the constructor of, of the, pass it to the constructor of the um, um, formatted um, text field. But you'll see from here, the uh, formatted text field is generated, okay, formatted text field is generated um, uh, by the NetBeans itself, okay, over here generated by NetBeans in the generated code. Where is that generated code? Here. Okay. 
So that format it takes fear of where is that one now? Okay, format the text field is generated here. We need to pass that number format to this constructor, but it's not allowing it to do so. Okay, so in order to do so, we're gonna click on this one, we're gonna right click on this, customize the code. Okay, then we're gonna choose custom code creates and custom creates, and then we're going to pass in control space the number format here, enter. Okay, so now we could pass already, we could use already this number format. Okay, we'll use this number format to format the text of the um, um, salary and the number format is currency format and you'll see from here as well if you see let's say um, where is format the text field and when you click create a new um, instance on um, a new object of it you're going to use make use of the number format over there okay so right now right now if you run this one if you run this one and if you put like 12 and if you click on display you know it's, it's gonna just get lost because this one must be currency this one must be currency if you um, type some string here and you click on this it's gonna just get lost if you type 12 display it's gonna just get lost as well okay so if we type like vnd vnd 12 okay click on display it's fine because my current currency um, is a Vietnamese dumb so it's gonna be VND over there okay for USD you know put the dollar sign so on and so forth but my currency instance right now is VND okay so if you type something like this and if you click display and get back to previous values because this one is a correct one okay this one is a correct one that one is a um, number format Okay, uh, format the text field. Use number format and specifically we are displaying we are displaying currency format. Okay, similarly you can um, try for date format um, or other formatting things. Okay. That one is I think um, almost all about the text components already already um, demonstrated. Okay.